Oh. Okay, there we go. Fine. Oh, you live. Other trucker. Cool. Cool. Yo, 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 it's BT3 and how are we doing today? I'm doing fantastic. We're picking up back from where we were last episode. We just beat up this dude, which allows us to get another underground encounter. As well as a few other ones. So let's start off with the underground. Actually, wait. Heal my team first. That might be the better idea. Heal the team first. Then go out to the underground. And we have at least four Pokemon we can get. Including the underground. So that'll be a fun part of this episode. But I also said last episode that I was going to talk about my plans for AWA this year where last year I didn't get to do a whole bunch of things that I wanted to do this year I definitely have a lot of money saved up for it well not just for it but to do a lot of things at AWA Georgia in general uh, I did say that the plan is to go down on Monday or so and I have several different things I want to try out. One of which is an ice cream store. That is a very, apparently very cheap. So I want to go there. Um, that might be like a dinner dessert thing. Um, there's a hibachi restaurant right beside that. So I'm, I want to do hibachi, go over to ice cream, and head back to our, our hotel with whoever decides to come with me if they are available. Um... I need balls. So there's that. And then I also want to... Yeah. Uh, is that... I also want to go to Cheesecake Factory because I've never been there. So that's location number two that I want to go to. Well, I guess number three. Uh, location number four is an arcade down there at the mall that I want to go to. You are ground type. Do I already have you? I feel like I already have you. I do not already have you. Okay. I cannot attack you. Have it from your wall. There's those things. I also want to... I wanted to do this for a long time, but I'm too scared to go actually skydiving. There's an indoor skydiving facility right by um, AWA. So that might be another day that I go ahead and do that. Um, as well as some of the actual sites in Atlanta that I want to go look at. I haven't completely looked at what's in Atlanta, but I do know that it's the Georgia is the state of peaches so that would be a fun thing to go and, and try out like actual peaches from there don't know where i'd have to go let me know suggestions for that uh, as well as any other suggestions for what i should do let me know in the comments uh, but yeah thursday's when it starts so i'll have thursday friday and a bit of saturday for awa to meet up with everyone Grimer, hi there. Sandman, sure. Send a box, I don't care. It's a ground type, I know. Uh, what was I talking about about AWA? Um, so yeah, fly down Monday. I'll probably like just rest all of Monday, get like take out on Monday. Just get settled in to our hotel room and all that stuff. And just have a chill day. That's what we did when we... when I went down to AWA last time. The Wednesday night, it was just a chill day for us to sit down, actually get to meet each other for the first time in person. So that was... I was happy with that. Um, I'm right beside water. Why can't I not use this? So yeah. Hopefully with the friend 
whichever friend I take down or friends will go down Monday night, get settled in Tuesday. I want to do the arcade as well as possibly the skydiving facility. Um, Hibachi might is either going to be Tuesday or Wednesday. It might be Friday actually because I might invite some of my online friends to do Hibachi with us. Um, you're a bug type so I do have to catch you. That's fine. Yeah. I might split stuff up between days instead of just doing all of it in one. So, yeah, skydiving. Arcade, I may also wait for everyone to come down. We'll see. But, yeah, I did not name the on one. You know what? Just go to box. I don't care. We will go to the underground eventually. I'm just getting these other encounters out of the way. Wow, I don't have money. Damn it. I'll fight the rival to get money. Yeah, there are more things that I will want to do when I get down there. AWA is going to be fun because hopefully this year I will be able to get down there early enough that I don't have to wait in a two hour fucking line just to get our passes and I can actually go to the voice acting thing that I wanted to go to last year. That is nobody's fault either. It was just bad timing. So, but the good thing about that bad timing was that before we even went up to wait, I got to hang out with Luke, um, Dylan, Vinny, Frank, Ryan. It was very fun with meeting those guys. And we saw them a couple different times throughout the weekend, which was, I'll be honest, it was more surprising that I saw them multiple times on that weekend than actually meeting them for the first time. Because I was like, oh yeah, no, we're at a convention. There's going to be tons of people. We may not see each other at all. And then we meet them the, the very first day by accident. <laughs> we went to go stand in line. And I'm telling this full story just because it's hilarious to me. We were standing in line and we were told, hey, um, this line's really long. It's a fire hazard. You, gotta, you can't line up right now. You gotta go come back later. So... We were like, okay, this is up on the second floor of the hotel area. Uh, so we went back down. We went, there was, I think it was an escalator there. I think there were escalators. There was escalators or stairs. I do not remember. <laughs> but we're going down. I'm like, hey, there's maybe Haley. Let's go talk to her. Not even realizing that Dylan is standing right beside her. <laughs> so we go down there. I, I say, hey, how's it going? And then I see Dylan just standing there like, yo, Dylan. We just started, we kind of just waited around with them before we got, went to got our passes. And everybody just kept showing up. Uh, Luke was there signing Pokemon cards. That's what it was. Um, that's why we stuck around and just like chatted with everybody. It was, it was nice. Uh, I think Frank and Ryan came around the same times. And I did something that I gave Frank Canadian money, which I know is not very useful in the U.S., but I thought it'd be cool just because, just to give it to him. Uh, he tried to resist it, but I insisted. Which, honestly, fair for him, because like, what's he going to do with Canadian money? Uh, and then like, we were talking with him for probably an hour or two before the rest of our group came down, who was there first. You are custom. What are you type are you? Ghost Fairy, okay, yeah. Oh. Okay, there you go. Fine. Oh, you live, mother trucker.
cool. Cool, yeah. Um... Yeah. After that, after that whole thing where everybody started disappearing, there were, our group went back up to go to the line. It was still a two hour long wait for our passes. So like, we were there four hours by the time we got our passes. Probably. I don't honestly remember. It might have been three hours. But like, we waited a, a fair amount of time to go back up there for our passes. And there's one, there's a, I think they were a couple. It's either a couple or, or like, they were there together at least. Um, and we saw them once more throughout the convention. At least I did, I'm pretty sure. What was coming in? <laughs> Too busy storytelling. <laughs> okay, Shinx, that's fine. Uh, goodbye, Shinx. But, you know, the scary thing happened in our line. As we were almost at the ticket stand, I'm gonna call it ticket stand, pass stand, whatever. As we were getting there, the female of the two got very lightheaded and almost fainted in line. Luckily she didn't, and she got sugar in her system, so she was all right. I don't know the complete story with what was going on with her, but I know that she needed something in her system. Cause it was hot in that building at the time. Not very good anything, really. Uh, so yeah. You know, we, while traveling together, cause there were so many of us, we couldn't all fit in this car together. So we took two groups each time, like from our Airbnb. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so a couple different times we would pass each other. Well, not pass each other. We would pass the core four. Just at random intervals throughout the day. Like, hey, yo, what's, what's up today? What's, what you doing here? Most of the time it was in the, um, the store section of the place where all the booths were set up. And we were just seeing them. Um, that's actually where I got the sword here from, too. It really was such a fun experience. I'm excited to go back because I don't plan on getting, like, sword, plushy, terrarium. I plan on getting actual shirts. Because, honestly, I, I need more shirts. I need more anime-based shirts. Like, I got... I got accounting-based shirts, got my own merch, and then plain shirts. That's all I got for shirts. As well as work clothes, but, like, we don't talk about that. Not yet, at least. That's a story for another day. That'll be Wednesday's story. <laughs> not Wednesday, Saturday's story. Uh, but I'm not sure. No, to the box. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta. I still gotta ask all my friends if they want to go out. I just realized I almost missed out on defog. It actually helps. It 100% helps me later. Yeah, that's all I needed. Thank you. Bye. Yay. <laughs> You know, I, I have somewhat of a plan set in place, but it's pretty much open for uh, anything, really. Open for change. Because I 100% know that it will change at some point. Especially if, say, last minute, one of my friends can't go. It'll have to change. Some, some of it will. I hope I hope I can get a few friends to come out with me. 
At least one friend. I want at least one friend to go down with me. Sorry, was that a Shinx or a Pikachu? Skitty. Um. What's with all the Pikachu clones being other Pokemon? I am confused. Don't you know, sure? What the fuck, Don't you know? What is going on here? Am I missing something? What is going on with my cave? Dugong. Go to Swarm. I need levels on him. I'm confused. What the heck's going on with this game right now? I need to go to the underground. Frig. Paralyze? Nah. How's that doing? Nothing. Good. No, not my speed. Please don't speed. No! Oh, I charge. Bound to happen. Okay, cool. Asking people to go. Okay. This button. I'm probably close enough to it that I'm fine. Okay, we're going to this big area. <laughs> We got to do at least one of these while we're down here, you know, pinged four items. There's gotta be something in the middle here, come on. Where is, is it over here? Here? Where's this last one located at? Can we all the way up here in the net? Okay, maybe not. Got all four. We're good. <laughs> all right. Now with that luck, we're we got all four. So we'll say number four. Sure. Fourth one we get. So first Marsh Stomp. Two. Three Dialga. I can't even get you anyways. It's fine. Trico, yo. Trico is not encounterable because it's a grass type. We cannot get grass types. Next. Because I can't do the one before either. Dialga is grass raw. You know what? Oh, just run. Oh, just run. It's fine. So the next one we're going to encounter. Dusk stone. And 
next one. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't mind hitting my top. At least it's not a Pikachu. <laughs> Alright. Aqua Jet. How much does Aqua Jet do? Oh, wow. Agility, cool. No, we can just keep going for it. I don't mind. Also, we have movie learning here, too. Don't we? There we go. You went for... Sure, let's heal up. Let's heal up. I can't do much more anyways. Can't throw a ball at a Pokemon underground. See, the nice thing about the underground is that the level scales with how many badges you have. So, like, this thing could come straight onto the team if I wanted it to. But I like having the fire type on it. On my team. In case I need it. Sweet. Easy as can be. Um, yes. Beyblade. <laughs> it's a spinning top. That's all you need to know. Easy as can be. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Alright. Now we continue chasing. And we'll probably just end this after we speak with Cynthia. Now we'll go free the Psyducks. Alright. And we'll free the Psyducks and then save, save it and this for now. Nicely done. All right, Blaze again. Hello. I think this is gonna be very easy, Blaze again. Goodbye. Yeah, we're pretty much good. Pretty much good. Wait, you only had a Blaze again? Wow, wow, dude. Wow. <sighs> hey there, Cynthia. Yes, thank you for giving me this instead of going and doing it yourself. She's gonna walk up there. I'm gonna just go ahead and fly up. Why not, right? It's much easier if I just fly. Hi there, Psydux. There you go. Yeah, you don't go sideways there, side up. And then Cynthia just comes here anyways. Old charm. I'd rather have the shiny charm. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, if you have any activities that I, you think I should do while I'm in, in Georgia, let me know. 
and I'll see if I can fit those into my vacation plans. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace be to screen. See you next time. Bye bye.